Okay, hello everyone. This is my episode 2, and it's just a little instructional video here. I've been trying to jailbreak my iPhone 3G, running 3.1.3, and it's been kind of tough. I've jailbroken my iPhone many times before, first time using QuickPwn, uh, and that was a while ago, and obviously it doesn't work anymore. And I've used Black Rain and all that other stuff, Red Snow. But, um, today we're going to jailbreak 3.1.3. So first thing you need to do is, hold on a minute, I'm trying something new this time. I'm going to be doing a screen capture along with my video, so let me just set this up. should be quick. Okay, and my screen recording has started. So, now what you need to do is download a couple files. The first one is over here, and that is iPhone 3. Point, or iPhone 1 and 2, 3.1.2 firmware, and um, you have to use the 3.1.2, not 3.1.3. .3. I don't know why, but you have to. And um, this is basically the easiest, easiest possible way I know of. If you just follow my instructions in this video, you will get through jailbreaking your phone very quickly. So you have to uh, download this, which is the store firmware, and you have to download Red Snow 9.4. So once you do that, click on Red Snow, and ask you if you download it from the internet, and I did. And so then you browse your files, and I just saved mine on the desktop. So we're going to go ahead and use the iPhone 3.1.2 Restore, and ISPW successfully identified. Next. Download your kernel, and you're going to need your cable for your iPhone. So plug that in. iTunes is going to want to pop up. Um, and you want to make sure iTunes doesn't. You want to make sure. Ah, uh, well, first of all, you want to back up all your files to the computer, which I have done. So you, in case something goes wrong, you don't lose anything, but it shouldn't. So, iTunes is, it's not even opening for some reason, but that's okay. So we're going to leave I, iTunes closed. And now you get to an area where you get a couple choices, and you want to install Cydia if you're just going to jailbreak your phone. Um... If you want a custom logo, you can check that and search for it. It could be anything. In fact, I may do that. Just a second. I'm going to use an old Apple logo, which should look pretty cool. This. Just drag that to the desktop. And well, it's not letting me enable it, so we're not. We're gonna skip that for now, and um, you can actually do that later on. Mess around with that stuff. Um, so that's what you want to do now. Just click next. Um, it says continue to the next step only when your device is both off and plugged in. So I'm turning my phone off now, powering down, and wait until it's finishing doing the little white wheel spinning. So there we go. It's off and plugged in. And so now you have to do this. It's um, kind of tricky. As soon as you hit the next step, it's going to tell you to hold the corner button for three seconds and you want to make sure you're almost actually already holding it by the time you hit the next button oops okay so now you hit the next button and hold down the corner button for three seconds two one and then hold down the home and power for ten seconds 
five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button. And it says hold it for 30 seconds, but it only has you hold it for about 10 before it starts doing stuff on the screen. So you can keep holding it, and white screen will pop up, and it says waiting for a reboot. And now basically it's just downloading the jailbreak data to your phone. Just leave that there for a minute. Uploading RAM disk is basically installing everything like Cydia and all of that good stuff to your phone. And um, so just wait for it to do that. It'll be a minute. While we're waiting for that, um, I did tell you guys the other day I have pre-ordered my iPad and I have uh, 14 days left. I'm really excited and once again I will be doing the unboxing video. I'm really looking forward to this. Alright, this is taking a while. I think I'm gonna pause the camera. Alright, so it's finishing up here. It's uploading kernel and um, this is a much quicker process as you can see on the screen now it's gonna reboot the phone and I'll put this right here there's no little white spinning dial right there and I'll actually pick up the camera now oh first of all as you can see it's done here and so we will turn the screen capture off because we don't need that anymore. And let's point the camera at the phone. So it still says downloading jailbreak data, but we have a spinning wheel here. And it's going to do that for a minute. And I'll come back when we're finished. Oh, never mind. Did that quicker than I thought. And so now it shows the jogging pineapple, and it's doing more jailbreak stuff. Up here, syncing file systems, rebooting, and so this is basically boot backup as a jailbroken iPhone. And um, I'm going to do another video later on. A um, couple, no, couple other videos to show you some cool themes that I like and to um, show you how to do a custom boot logo. And so I'll wait for it to be booted up. I'll show you a few things with Cydia and then we'll end this video. And there's another great trick with the iPhone um, that allows you to do basically a screen capture of it using Safari and you find that video on YouTube somewhere but it's really cool it allows you to use um, I think it's Bonjour with Safari um, to have a screen capture of your iPhone so now we've started back up and didn't lose any files in the process but if we go through to the end we should find Cydia way over here and if anyone knows what these things are I always have these blank apps that I have to delete here they're here for no reason and it's really annoying I always get them every time I reboot my phone so I'm just gonna delete those and now we have Cydia and um, basically that's it. I'll have some more videos um, of a tour around Cydia, kind of, and some other cool tricks that you can do only with a jailbroken iPhone. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching my second episode.